Um, our guys came out with a, with a sense of uh, resilience and, and, and a sense of purpose tonight. You know, you got to give your hats off to Tennessee Tech. We knew they were going to be a big time foe because, you know, anytime you go into another team's place and beat them by 26, and then they come into your place and get you, that says a lot about a basketball team. And we knew that we had our hands full tonight, but we weren't going to let it be because we didn't play as hard as we possibly could uh, with a great sense of urgency and, and energy and, and a passion. And I thought that was the game tonight. Our guys were very hungry and play with a great enthusiasm tonight. And uh, that was the reason why I thought we played so well. Coach, talk about your defense for some 22 turnovers tonight. I'll tell you, that, that was the deal. That's how we play. We haven't been that way because our guys have been so wounded, and we haven't been able to practice. I got so many guys hurt. I haven't been able to practice in a month. And Monday and Tuesday, we got after it for the first time in I don't know how long. And the guys came to me. I'm thinking they weren't going to like it. They loved it. And they came to me and said, That's, Coach, this is what we needed. So I went again hard on Tuesday, got the same type of results. So now that's why you're seeing the energy because the energy has been great all week in practice. Coach, how do you bottle up that energy and bring it tomorrow against Belmont? Well, I'll tell you what. They, my guys have been waiting on this for the simple fact we let one go at our place. We're up seven with a minute and 20 to go, and we, we just, you know, pee down our leg a little bit. Our guys want another crack at it and make sure that if that happens again, that, we're, that, 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 that the outcome won't be the same. So – They've, they've allowed themselves to, to get a third crack at Belmont, which is a great basketball team, especially in our league, and that's all we can ask for right now. Kareem, Angel, either one of you want to comment on Belt, getting another chance at Belmont? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, like, like Coach said, we, we, we've been talking about it. Uh, we're going to get Belmont again. And, uh, we finally got them. And this time, I, I, I'm pretty sure it won't be the same mistakes as last game. And we're going to come out with a lot, of, a lot of passion, a lot of enthusiasm. And really get out there for 40 minutes like we did tonight. You guys started off, you know, with a huge, you know, 25 grind, and then it seemed like the offense really stalled for almost the next, you know, 10 minutes even. What changed between the first five or six minutes and that long stretch in the first half? Well, we got stagnant and we got a little cute, um, and that that was the reason why. And then we had to get it back, you know, the, the urgency again. We lost urgency because we got up so fast. Okay, my guys, you know what I'm saying, they, they wanted to let the you know, foot off the gas, and that wasn't, you know, we can't do that. And, uh, you know, once we got going again, we're our speed and our quickness, and, and, and we made, kept them uncomfortable uh, on defense. You know, we didn't let the guard really turn the corner. We had somebody in his face with high hands all the time, let Maddie make tough uh, passes. Uh, and then also we doubled down on the post, which we didn't do the last game, and he killed us. And we wanted to make sure that that wasn't going to be the case tonight. Coach, you were just talking about uh, the post. Can you talk about the way that you guys defended Juan tonight, especially your guys down low? Uh, there were, I mean, 29 points the other night, and tonight I think just uh, 16 or so. Somewhere. Well, we just wanted to make him uncomfortable. Last night, last night we just let him dance with our guys and left him uh, in the post by himself. And one-on-one, -on -one, he's pretty good. You know what I mean? Sure. And uh, we didn't want to make that happen. We wanted to get the ball out of his hands and rush him. We wanted to keep them rushed all night. And I thought we did a good job of that. Coach, can you line up my conversation here? When, uh, I saw you guys, it looked like uncomplicated offensively. You spread the floor out, going side to side. And it didn't look like you only went two for 13 or so from the three. But you, it looked like you didn't take a bad shot in the second half. Were we saying what we were saying? The offense looked very unselfish. Well, that's what, defense. Maybe that's what we do. We, we spread you out and try to drive you. And we're getting to the point now where we're not settling for jump shots. And, you know, the way the game is now, you got to drive the basketball. Because any type of bump, any type of anything, the, the whistle is going to be blown, either going one, one way or another. So that's what we want to do. We want to spread you out. And I think I got three of the best guards in, in, in all the basketball collectively as far as driving the basketball. And these guys are resilient and relentless at getting to the rim and making the right play. Let me ask the same question maybe differently. Uh, how do you bottle this up, man? That looked like it was a masterpiece today. Just the, the effort, the hot hands, uh, full commitment to defending all five guys were in unison offensively and defense, especially on the defense end. How do you bottle that thing up for tomorrow and possibly championship? Well, it's win to go home. You know what I mean? It doesn't take a lot of motivating anymore. Okay. You know, these guys know that we're good enough and we're just as good or better than any team in our league if we play as hard as we know we can play. That's us. 
and that's what we expect from a from a, 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 a toughness standpoint. And uh, we know that all, a lot of teams don't like playing that way. We got active hands. We're quick enough to to, to move our feet and keep you from driving. Uh, and we, we can jab, clog up the lane, and get back to our man on the catch and not give him drives or shots and limit him to one shot. We're just as good as anybody in the United States as far as transition, pushing it back at you. And I thought that was the reason why we had so much success because we did limit him to one shot, we turned them over, and we were very efficient in transition. Kareem, uh, Kareem uh, you had three seals tonight. As a team, you guys had 14. Uh, you guys had a lot of transition baskets as a result. How much does that fire you guys up, especially as guards, to get those? It fires, it fires us up a lot because, you know, that's our identity. Um, we played great team defense. The heads were there all night. And um, I, when our, when our uh, scouts were to, were to slow down the point guard, and, and it, my, my, my bigs heads phenomenally. We uh, dug in the post phenomenally. And we, could, and, and we confused them because some of the things that we, we didn't do before, we did in this game. We stuck to the scout. The coaches did a great job with scouting. And uh, we came out with a victory. And uh, we hope that that carries over to tomorrow. Should we talk about the confidence your team played with in the second half. Jump out to the big lead. They come back. But then you punched them in the mouth again in the second half. Well, we, we just played with a sense of, you know, sense of urgency. And we spread them out. And uh, these guys lick their chops when teams go man. And we get to spread them out because they don't believe that one guy can stop them getting to the bucket. And him, him, Brent Arrington, it's hard to stop those guys one-on-one. -on -one. And then they were making the right pass. If the big stepped up, they dimed our big man. You know, if their guy has a lot, they, they get, gave it to the other guard coming downhill so he can turn the corner and get in the, get in the paint. So we just, you know, we, we played him like a puppet. But we were under control but very aggressive. And we got to continue to do that for the next two nights. As well as uh, as well as Belmont shoots a basketball, can you go two for thirteen from behind the arc to win? And if you are, what what do you need to do? I tell you what, we didn't shoot the ball great when when we lost to them the last time, and we were up seven. Would have meant I mean we dominated them for for thirty eight and a half minutes, and we didn't shoot the ball great. We just defended. You know that's our identity. And then we spread you out. Belmont don't like playing zone. They're not, they're not the quickest team defensively, and we were getting to the basket. And they don't, they don't have a guy in the back that, that's a big-time shot blocker. So that, that we use that to our advantage. We just didn't seal the deal with the last minute and 21 seconds left to go in the game. And we, we actually did all the work all week long, and then when it was time to go get a paycheck, we turned, the, we, we, we turned on and went home without, without any money. So um, we got to make sure if, if that's the case this time, my guys will be willing and ready to not let that happen again. Be stronger with their basketball, play with more confidence down the stretch, and making free throws in the clutch. Coach, I, I'm doing a story on Drew Kelly, and I know he kind of struggled offensively tonight, but can you talk about the contribution that Drew has made to this club at both ends of the floor all year long? I'll tell you what, when we, got, when we started this year, and you know we had a, a, a really good recruiting class, I told Drew Kelly and I told everybody else, no matter who we bring in this year, we're only going to go as far as you go. We need you to be in a very important piece, spiritually, emotionally, physically, because you are that piece. You're the glue guy. You know, you're a coach's son. You keep everybody together when you're in it. And at, at one time during the season, guys, Drew didn't want to play this game anymore, to be honest with you. And we had a long powwow, and I'll tell you what, the next night he went out and scored 40. Wow. And he hadn't looked back since. He's been consistent ever since. Just, you know, 12 here, 18 here, 16 here, you know. But he's been the guy that keeps everybody together with great leadership, and people listen to him. So that's the reason why we've been successful. It's, it's been because of these guys. But behind the scenes, Drew Kelly's been that guy, and I needed him. And, and he, he, he's more than worth his weight in golf. Angelo, I can see you nodding to everything Coach says there. What has Drew Kelly meant to you and your group? Drew, he, he's like a, a forefather to me. Um, you can always go to Drew about anything. Um, outside of basketball, uh, inside of basketball, Drew, Drew's there. Um, he has a fiance. You call Drew at 2 o'clock in the morning. He, he'll be there. But um, Drew, uh, we owe this to Drew. I mean, after this, after this Drew's not going to play basketball anymore. He knows that. The team knows that. But, you know, Drew's going to come out and give you everything you got. Drew's sick right now. And he's still giving out everything he has. So 
I mean, Drew is Drew. I mean, you can't, you can't. At halftime, he was puking. Yeah, so. The whole halftime deal, he was puking. So that lets you know what type of kid he is. Just a tough guy. Two more questions if we have them. Angelo, all season, coach has called you Mr. Consistent. You know what you're going to get from, from you. 23 points tonight. It looked like you were very comfortable. Talk about that. Um, it's just playing within myself, like I said, all year. Um, uh, like I said, all year, um, it's not about me. It's not about anybody else on this team. Anybody else can go any night. So, uh, it, like, like Kareem played a, a phenomenal game. Uh, he pushed the basketball. And um, he, he, he got guys open. So, that's what I fed off of. Kareem was running, so I was running with him. And I know he's going to look for me or anybody else. And um, I didn't know I had 23 points. <laughs> so I was just playing basketball, man. I was just having a lot of fun out there. Any more?